So let's talk a little bit more about uh, what you think the immediate future is going to be like. We talk about getting through the summer league, yes. preparing for the school year to start back. I mean, um, what, does, what does that look like? You know, right. We're opening, really opening back up sure. after a year and a half through COVID. So we really have to sit back and see exactly what it is that that looks like yeah. for us. But for me, the spinoff is always um, DC Elite, you know, the, the tournaments again. You know, right. um, showcasing again, being able okay. to showcase our, our kids. Okay. So okay. I haven't done that in probably the last two or three years, you know. And I just feel like, you know, for me, it's the right entity where we can actually do it at. So if you're saying getting back to the DC League tournaments, let me yeah. ask you this. To someone who may be listening, who may be outside of this community, and they may have an opportunity to support, what's the best way that they can approach to try to support or bring something to the table? Now I'm saying, who else can yes. come in, come in and be involved? Well, I mean, you can always reach me at um, Derek Coleman for real on on Instagram. Yep. Uh, I'll put that on the screen yeah, right now. Well, Derek Coleman at uh, LinkedIn. Yep. Yep. You know, yep. Um, 44 the legend on, on, on Twitter. Sure. Yeah. So I'm, I'm on all social media platforms. And, and if they can't, they need to just fall through here one well, day. Just come by you I know, mean, and, and see us and at DerekColemanElite.com you know, yep. our, our, our website. So, so we'll definitely make sure that's out there because I want yes. people to know that um, there's an accessibility that you have unlike a lot of people. Right. You know. Well, again, it takes a village. You no know, matter what we do. I, I can't do it all and I don't try to. Right. But I love, I value partnerships and relationships more right. than anything. Right. Right. And again, for me, it's always being grassroots right. with everything that, right. that we do and, and, and helping corporate America to understand that. Right. You know, that part of right. it. Like, I've had great partnership relationship with Myers, okay. uh, with Sam's Club. You okay. know, and Henry Ford Health System was out. Me and Benny White was talking about that back in 97 when we were wow. doing like camps and clinics. Wow. wow. T Will, Tony Tolbert, uh -huh. Bo Neal, all these guys that you see have been with me my entire lifetime. Right. Whatever I've done with the comes to basketball, right. they've always stepped up and accepted the challenge and been a part of what you need from us, D, we got you. Well, I, I just wanted to be very clear and known that Derek Coleman is open for business in the sense that not only are you doing great things with your programming, you are ready to foster those partnerships similar to the one you have with Beaumont yes. and other organizations. I just think it's very important because people, are, they'll look around and they'll try to reinvent the wheel. You don't have, you don't have to. I don't even try to reinvent the wheel. Uh -huh. You know, uh -huh. it's, it's right here for us. Mm -hmm. But I just think the lines of communication has to be better than what we're doing. I'll give you the prime example. Um, when the Pistons moved downtown and they were talking about they did a hoop it up I don't know if you remember that about like two years ago mm -hmm. and they wasn't connected to the community to get the kids so we had a meeting about that and they were like Derek you know we want to do this hoop it up you know downtown how do we make it make it happen I said well you have to go grassroots guys I said y'all just moved in the city and again y'all this big wheel yeah yeah. You know, you corporate America. You talk about the big wheel. Yeah, before. but you got to go grassroots with it to get these kids yeah. involved yeah. in what's going on. So we said, we had a meeting, we talked about it, and man, we had so many teams down there that wow. they, like, they had to cut it off. They were like, wow. we had capacity, there. where you get all yeah, these kids right, from? Right. Well, again, I got 50, 60 some odd teams in my summer league. Yeah, whatever. So You're I'm ready. like, yo, yeah. come on. So dude, that's the perfect example of that big corporate entity yeah. having to make that grassroots connection. Definitely. Yeah, Definitely. yeah, and do it like that. And, and like you said, you know, even with the Pistons moving out of town, it's just a great opportunity for us to even take these kids, not only just to basketball games, but to show them the back of the house. Yeah. So if you still want to be around the game of basketball, yeah. hey, man, here's all the production. Right. Here's all the social Social media. Right. Now they're even doing gaming. Yeah, right. you know that's, big. yeah. that's big. That's yeah. big. I noticed in your comments that you don't always pound the pavement about basketball per se. You talk about the different experiences. You know, yes. that's your entrepreneurial background. Say, hey, it man, is. you want to see it all? Because I understand that, you know what, basketball in life is really only going to carry you so far. Right. So what is your backup plan? What else are you preparing for? Right. Use it. You right. Know, because if you get the opportunity to go to college, they're going to use you. You right about that, you know. So yeah. you, you got to use hey, that man. too. Uh, you think about? I'm thinking about the line from last time we talked when we made you chairman of the NCAA. And <laughs> I said, you see that? Yeah, yeah. You see that today? What did they say today? The NCAA saying that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking about uh, some moderate pay, but that, that, that's the way they're talking about. Yeah. Things are going. Like, 
before we talked last time, the girls were coming, and since we yes. talked, they've been here. What has that been like having the girls be here? It was great, man. Yes, just, just to see them and again create that platform sure. for them. Um, when I'm on conference calls or Zoom calls with with the NBA and USA Basketball, you know, they want to promote girls basketball, you know, around the country, right? You know, and we got such a decline in it. But to create a platform for them where they feel that they are part of something, right? Especially being here in right. Michigan, right? I mean, it's great. They enjoyed it. They had a great time, you know. And they'll be back Wednesday. So Wednesday is our ladies first. Ladies first on yeah. Wednesday. Check it out. And, and I'm not putting them on the, the little court. I'm putting them on the it big be court. Right here. Yeah. Right here. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. Because I want to I want to see your eyes get big. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different thing when you run over and all eyes on yes. you. Yes. Yeah. But Dig, once again, you've continued to show that um not only have you been an impactful person as a basketball player, but Dig, I'm wondering if your legacy is gonna be more impactful after basketball. Well, what is legacy? You what, know what people remember you by. Remember me by. I think people will remember me more about what I do for people than for the game of basketball. I seen a quote from Isaiah Thomas. He says, "If all I'm remembered by is playing with a basketball, then I haven't done anything in life." And I, I believe that. So if that's all that I'm, I'm remembered by, then you know what? I haven't touched enough people in my lifetime. But so many of us stop at, man, you know, I was I was just kill them out there, you know? And it's like, that is their story. Well, I don't live who dreams no more. Yeah. You tell you about that. I, tell, I tell the kids that, you know, whatever. I, I don't live who I never tell any of these kids about who I am and what I, I've done. I know you don't. I know you don't. You, you know don't. what I'm saying? Because it's not about me. Hey, man, I, I've had a great life through basketball, right? So they just see this 16 kid, you know, in, in the gym, but they all got phones. Yeah. You know? So before this eight week period is actually over with, they're going to come and tap me you know, yeah. on my shoulder. Yeah. Uh, they parents, they mom, they dad, yeah. somebody going to tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say it's not about you, but to be a successful athlete, there is an aspect of ego that has to go into it. Being yeah. the man and driving and pushing. How did you either transition or separate that where it didn't stay that way? Because so many athletes, it does stay that way, that it's still about I've, them. I've, I've had great mentors my whole life, you know, that was, um, always kept me humble. Sure. You know. Who can keep the big fella humble? Hey, man, my Uncle Robert. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You say get him on the phone. Yeah, that's all you need. Hey, hey you want to talk to him or you want to talk to me? Hey, there you go. My Uncle Robert. I mean, uh, uh, Dave Bean. That's right. You know? Yeah. Because he has such a humble humble spirit, Yeah, you know, about the game. Sure. Now, but, I mean, if you're going to start, you know, talking mess about it now, I'm sure. like, well, well, hold on a minute. Right. Let me right. explain something. Right. Uh, I, right. I ain't new to this. Right. You know, but right. other than that, I, I don't live it, man. You know, I don't ego trip, you know what I'm saying, about it because I just feel for all of us it's a bigger purpose in life. Yeah. And for us to be able to, to, to share those experiences, you know, right. with these kids and get them to understand that, that that's my goal in life. Hey, it's your turn, man. Right. What y'all gonna do? And you good you good for telling them that. You good yeah. for calling them out. Oh, hey, boy, hey, this is what's up. Because I, I think a lot of times we've gotten away from tough love. Yeah. When yeah. do you become so so sensitive to everything that goes on, you know what I'm saying, in, in life? I don't know. I you guess know? people start holding stuff in such high regard and they were fearing they can lose these things. Yeah. So that's why they, they said, well, let me go this route. And then it's coming back to bite us. Yeah, it's coming back to bite us. So I'm always going to get my kids there. They know I love them. I'll do anything for them. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna, if you ain't out there playing hard like you like Maxie today, Jawan right, Maxie. Right, right, right. As soon as he seen me walk that day, you know what he said? What? I had 30 today, coach. <laughs> that's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> Yeah, I said you ain't got thirty cents. I did, coach. Yeah, I had thirty. Yeah, you put it out because there. I tell Chauncey as well with with, with King. I said, man, well, I got to sit at this table every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. When y'all come in here and tell y'all, hey, y'all need to get thirty and fifteen assists every time. I should have to tell y'all. So that. you are driving force for these guys. It should be this stuff. Yeah, because yeah. you got to have that killer instinct. Yeah, no matter what yeah. We do. And we do see that in some of them. As yes, we, get the, we got a tight one right now with uh. Oh, King and Dempsey right it. now, right now, with uh, about forty seconds, uh, fifty-five, forty-five. Oh, so we gonna see what's happening. They fight, but this is great, man. Uh, 
I just want to say I appreciate all that you do. It's been great chronicling you, being able to talk about all the things that happened in the past and the future. We're going to keep Thank these you, conversations man. going. Well, you got to understand this too, bro. My life has always been open book. That's true. You know? That's true. So I, mean, I just pour my heart into it. Yeah. You know? Just the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. that's what I get them to understand. If you really going to play this game, then you got to be prepared for all of it because mm -hmm. it's coming. Mm -hmm. It's peaks and valleys and everything. People don't want to hear that part, though, dude. I know they don't, don't, don't want to hear that. But you, you got to hear it. Because it's going to affect us. It's going to touch you at some point in time in your life. That's true. You know? And I just want you to remember that, like, damn, Coach did tell me, told that. me that. You know what I'm saying? Or pick the that. phone up. You know so why do so many people bypass that and not speak on it and say it when there's an opportunity? Sensitive. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's sensitive. Well, I, I want you to like me. I don't want you yeah. to be mad at me for well, saying that. That's what we're just talking about, man. I don't want you. You ain't got to like me. You don't respect me. Right. For who I am. I demand respect you know, my whole life. So. Right. I don't worry about being like. Yeah. That's what I tell them. Don't nobody uh, win being like. You don't win being like. Yeah. Damn. You don't win being like, man. You know, he's a nice guy. Yeah, no, can't be yeah. a nice guy. Yeah, I ain't gonna do Tim Duncan wasn't a nice guy. Everybody thought he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he wasn't nice uh -huh. at all. Yeah, he yeah. get at you just as well. Yeah, thank you. In a, in, in a quiet way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, this is good information for our kids. We're gonna see. It's 20 seconds left. We'll be able to watch this. It might go in the overtime. Yeah, there. yeah, that's great. There, until the next time, uh, I appreciate all that you shared about the partnership opportunities, yes. about uh, uh, being proactive about health, uh, about uh, what the future is gonna look like. And um, again, another great day at the DC Summer Elite uh, Summer League basketball program. Man, I appreciate, appreciate you. It. And again, love, man. happy birthday, bro. Uh, thank yeah, you for, for sure. For <laughs> one sure. more again. One more again. We <laughs> had it. We had it. <laughs> Lindsay Hustle with SBS. See you guys oh, next man, time. I forgot to tell you, my man, Campy Russell over there. That's Campy Russell over yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. You like a yes, man. Yes, man. You like a man, no doubt. Man, one of my mentors. Again, growing up as a kid, going to camp, seeing Campy, man. Campy, uh, working at Being Steel. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, again, close. one of my mentors. I've been knowing all my life as a kid. Yeah, man. He's, a, he's, a, he's a legend, too. Yes, he is, we'll man. We'll make sure we sit down with him, Please. Too. Okay. Please do. We got it. All I right. got you. My brother. See you in a minute. One love. Yeah. Hey folks, it's Lindsay Huddleston with SPS. Uh, thank you for watching the video and also thank you for supporting our young people. I'm in a very unique position. Uh, I am a sports psychology consultant, but I also have media credentials. Cover collegiate and high school sports. Just the past few seasons, I covered Michigan State football and basketball as an example. And one thing is true across the board for college level athletics. They do not, in most cases, prepare our young people to talk to the media. I'm probably the friendliest media person they'll come in contact with. So with that being said, I want to offer my service to you and to your young person as it relates to media training, uh, not only to help them be successful talking to the media regarding their sports, but also in life. Give them the confidence to communicate who they are and put a positive foot forward. So with that being said, you can reach me at the email below, lh at the sbsedge.org. We are a nonprofit organization, so anything you do is not only going to support your young person, but other young people as well as it relates to overcoming mental toughness and mental health in today's society. So with that, thank you for your support. Hopefully I can help your young person get the SPS Edge.